The Henrietta Knight Handicap Joseph's Nexus is a three mile, three and a half furlong grade three handicap. And at the top we've got Banks of the Nile for Leon Van Rensburg, who's also got Stone of Legends. Lord Kestrel for David Robertson, who's also got Square DJ. Cape of Peers, Darren Thompson, Solo Blanc for Craig Allen. Green Tea, David Hooley, Charlie Two Shoes for Stu Gray. Rampant Lion, Alex Cherry, Bucco, Martin Lederman, Boomerang Aman for Graham Clutterbox. So just 11 then. Quite a few long distance chases this week. And called in and away. Um, Cape of Pears on the inside, just about the first to show. As they get this to the first, fairly short run set. They're all safely to the other side of it, though, with Bucco, the current back marker, and the pace is somewhat pedestrian, nothing all that keen to lead. They're virtually going to crawl as they get to the second. They've barely got the impetus to get over it, some of them. And Stone of Legends closest to us, Cape of Pears over on the far side there, the two. But currently it looks like Cape of Pears is going to take the race and take the race by the scruff of the neck and be the leader. Still not going all that quickly though, but has opened up a lead of about three lengths to Lord Ketter in second. And the Van Rensburg pair Stone of Legends and Banks of the Nile. And over the fourth they go. It'll be the final fence in a couple of circuits time. So two more trips to the track to go then. And Cape of Pears is in the lead by about a length and three quarters. To Stone of Legends in second, Banks of the Nile is third. Then comes the Grey Lords Kester on the outside of Charlie Two Shoes. They take number five. They're all safely over that one as well with Green Tea. Just the current back marker. Also in widest on the track is the second of the David Royce and horses. That's Square DJ and the blue and the, and the turquoise and the mauve hoops. And it's Cape of Pears who leads into the sixth. A mistake at the back by Green T. Seeing that one just find itself detached by about three lengths now. The field starts to get a little bit strung out. There's a little bit more pace in the race now. As Cape of Pears is bowling along comfortably in front, skipping over the water, which they all negotiate safely. And Stone of Legends is a clear second with Banks of the Nile third, the Grey Lords Kestrel fourth, then Bucco's move forward into fifth with a rampant line on the outside of that one, and then Boomerang Aman as they get over that big ditch. With Solo Bronco next for Craig Allen, and we we'll hoping his jumpers jump a bit better than they did in the last race. And Charlie Two Shoes has just shuffled back a little bit as they take number nine. And Solo Bronco has dropped to the back of it as well. Green T is the back marker, so Green T is about five minutes adrift of the rest of them at this point, but they're still well over two miles to go, so plenty of time to get back into it. As Cape of Pears comes into this ditch with a clear lead. Safely over that one. Stone of Legends four lengths down in second. Bucco has now moved into third to just split the Van Rensburg pair. Banks of the Nile fourth. Then Lord Kestrel with Charlie Two Shoes on its inside and Boomerang Aman on its outside. Solo Blank is tucked in behind them now with Rampant Line on the outside and Square DJ at the back of the main group. Green T is now no more than two lengths adrift. So Cape of Pears into the final two miles, clearing the lead. Takes this plain one. All over it nicely, a little bit slow was Boomerang Aman, but nothing too alarming. And Cape of Pears racing downhill with a good lead of six lengths. Bucco has moved through into second. Banks of the Nile third. Rampant line moving up on the outside is now fourth. So it just puts a bit of a breather into Stone of Legends. But it's Cape of Pears is going to lead them past the stand for the second time. And a lead of five lengths to Bucco second. Banks of the Nile third, and Rampant Line and Solo Blanc as they take the twelfth. A uh, mistake there by Banks of the Nile, so both the Leon Van Rensburg horses have dropped back a little bit now as they take that one, it'll be the last next time round. They've got just about a mile and a half still to go. One more circuit of the track. Uh, swing out left handed then with Cape of Pears clear by four to Bucco in second, and then Rampant Line is third. Boomerang Amar is four, and Solo Bronx moved up into fifth. Then comes Banks of the Nile and Lord Kestra as they take the 14th. Bucco was slow. Green T has gone past Square DJ. As Stone of Legends continues to drop through the field, Cape of Pears is 
all along happily in the front with Boomerang and Armand now second and rampant line third. Book have just been given a bit of a breather in fourth on the inside. Mistake again by Banks of the Nile. And Stone of Legends is now last. Cape of Pears is still the leader, but only by about two and a half. As they get over the water, good jump there by the Great Lord's Kestrel, seeing that one take a length out of the rest of them. Bucco's now switched to the outside, move back into fourth, Rampart Lion is just sitting quietly in fifth, biding his time, Sono Blanc is next as they get to this big ditch and over that one they all go, good jump by Square DJ on the outside as the field is sort of beginning to bunch now, with Cape of Pears just too clear over that one, and another mistake at the back by Stone of Legends, if you to see that winning the way it's been jumping, but it's Cape of Pears. Only by a length now then. To Lord's Kestrel second, Bucko third, Boomerang and Man fourth, then Rampant Lion, Square DJs cruised into it as they get over that ditch and is now moving around the outside to take a share of third. We've only got three more to take. And Cape of Pears is still in the lead, but the Robertson pair are chasing hard and it's Square DJ that's come through into second there. Cape of Pears from Square DJ in second. Look at these two Leon van Rensburg horses. They look totally out of it, jumping like donkeys before, but now they're backing it and backing it big time. That's Cape of Pears on the inside of Square DJ. They get over to third last in third is Stone of Legends. Lord Kestrel still there on the inside. Bucko still there. So is Boomerang and Man. Then trying to get into it again. Banks and the Solo Blanc. And then Rampant Lion. Charlie Two Shoes and finally Green T. But they've only got two to take now. And it's Cape of Pears who's still in front by a length. Two square DJ in second. Stone of Legends third. Then Lord Kestrel and Bucko. As they come now into the straight. They've got two to take. And Cape of Pears has been in the lead pretty much all the way. He's two lengths clear still of Square DJ. Did that one go too soon? Lord Skestrel's trying to come back over the second. Last they go. Here comes Bucko again with a renewed run. Boomerang Amar is still there as well. Over the final fence they go. Cape of Pears is full clear. And Cape of Pears may have stolen this one from the front. It's Cape of Pears. Four lengths clear. Racing away is this one throwing down a challenge for the gold cup. As they race up towards the line. Cape of Pears and in the lead. Fast finishing Boomerang Amar and Bucko. But Cape of Pears has got a hold on. Cape of Pears takes it from Boomerang around Booker, then Square DJ Solo Blanc. Green T ran on well. The Leon van Rensburg horses ran a strange race in that one. And Cape of Pears led on sufferance, I thought, early on, but then seemed to get used to it. And maybe will use those tactics again as he took that one quite cosily really in the end Cape of Pears takes it then for Darren Thompson Boomerang Amman for Graham Clutterbuck was second Bucko for Martin Lennon was third Square DJ for David Orson fourth and Solo Brock for Craig Allen was fifth